Welcome to Terra Scientifica Syed channel, where we unravel the mysteries of the natural world. Today, we're diving into the captivating realm of clouds, those artistic formations that grace our skies. I'm your host, and I'm thrilled to guide you through the diverse types of clouds and their enchanting characteristics. Clouds, as you may know, are visible masses, composed of countless liquid droplets and frozen crystals suspended high up in the atmosphere. These cloud formations come to life when water vapor condenses around tiny particles, like dust and aerosols, known as condensation nuclei. To understand clouds better, let's talk classification. Just like plants and animals, clouds have their own taxonomy. We use Latin names to categorize them based on distinct features. We have four main names that define cloud types. Humulus, rounded form. Cirrus, fibrous form. Stratus, layer without specific form. Nimbus, accompanied by rain. Now, let's explore the 10 basic cloud types, grouped into four families. From the high-flying cirrus clouds to the majestic cumulonimbus clouds, each has its own story to tell. Starting with cirrus clouds, these wispy formations are delicate, white ice crystals. They can appear as fields or narrow bands and often turn pink or red during sunsets. They don't bring rain, though. Next up, cirrostratus clouds. These translucent, whitish veils are made of ice crystals. They often accompany a halo phenomenon and are harbingers of upcoming depressions. Meet cirrocumulus clouds, resembling tiny cotton flowers. They're made of ice crystals or supercooled water droplets, possibly signaling the arrival of fronts. Altostratus clouds, appearing in layered gray sheets, diffuse light without casting shadows. They can bring light precipitation and are associated with stable air. Altocumulus clouds show off their lamellae, pebbles, and rolls. Their shadows set them apart from cirrocumulus clouds. Stratus clouds, characterized by a grayish, uniform appearance, often herald drizzle or fine droplet precipitation. Stratocumulus clouds appear in larger, rounded masses and often gather in groups, lines, or waves. Their convection is limited by the upper layer's stability. Ah, cumulus clouds, those classic cauliflower-shaped formations. They're loose and dense, usually appearing during convection after disturbances. Enter the mighty cumulonimbus clouds, dense, towering, and the source of thunderstorms. They sport an anvil-shaped top and can herald a cold front's approach. Last, but not least, nimbostratus clouds bring vertical extension and gray layers. They're known for their moderate precipitation coverage. Let's dig even deeper. The 14 species of clouds add intricate details to our cloud atlas. They range from fibratus to capillatus, each contributing a unique touch to the sky's canvas. And now, the nine cloud varieties. These describe how clouds arrange themselves and their transparency levels. These nuances paint a more vivid picture of our ever-changing atmosphere. So, as we wrap up our cloud journey, remember that these formations aren't just random shapes in the sky. They're storytellers, revealing atmospheric tales that impact our weather and environment. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of cloud types and their captivating characteristics. Keep looking up, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the wonders of our world. Until next time, stay curious.